What is situationism? The term situationism could mean different things. For example, we have situationism in ethics, such as the situation ethics of Joseph Fletcher. We also have situationism in psychology, understood broadly as a theory which holds the belief that, changes in human behavior are factors of the situation, rather than the traits a person possesses. However, in this video lecture, we will briefly define situationism from the vantage points of art, politics, and philosophy. So, situationism, in this context, is understood as the ideology that combines elements of Marxism with avant-garde artistic practices in the tradition of Dada. Its main spokesmen are Guy Debord, and Raoul Van Aegem. Founded in 1957, the Situationist International was a small, but influential group based in Paris, and with members in Holland, Germany, and Belgium. One of the few British members was the Scottish novelist, Alexander Trochi. The organization survived in one form or another until 1972. The journal, International Situationist, was published in Paris between 1958 and 1969, and has been reprinted many times. The Situationist International developed out of a number of small groups of artists whose ambition was to use both artistic and more practical activity to shape a situation, defined in quasi-Sartrean terms, designed to unleash a free and spontaneous creativity leading to a revolution in everyday life. Favored activities included the aimless locomotion of the derive, and detournement. The latter term means diversion, but also subversion, and corruption, and refers to the techniques of creative plagiarism, and altering the words of posters and comic strips to give them an unexpectedly political slant. The Situationist International is often credited with having inspired the French Student Revolt of 1968, and many of the slogans and graffiti of the period are Situationist-inspired, such as, It is forbidden to forbid, and, Take your desires for reality. Situationism's main critique of contemporary society, is encapsulated in the phrase, The Society of the Spectacle, which is the title of de Boer's main contribution to its theory. The society of the spectacle is a society in which the accumulation of images has become more important than the accumulation of commodities, and in which rapidly circulating signs transform individuals into actors who play out artificial roles that suffocate their subjectivity. Even acts of rebellion against the consumer society can be recuperated to become elements in the never-ending and ever-changing spectacle. According to this theory of alienation, which is heavily influenced by Lukács, modern society caters for no real needs, and acts on the principle of, to teach in accordance with his or her artificial needs. In organizational terms, situationism is distantly related to the tradition of workers' council, or self-management socialism, and its supporters have always been deeply suspicious of organized political parties. The Situationist International was always divided by the tensions between its artistic heritage and its political ambitions, and these have often been seen as resulting from conflicts between a spontaneous Venegim, and a theoretical de Boer. Indeed, the conspiratorial organization was always plagued with internal quarrels, and its history is largely the history of the denunciation and expulsion of its own members. It is a measure of the Situationist International's collective talent for polemic and invective that one account of its history includes an index of those insulted in the pages of its journal. A typical entry reads, Sartre, John Paul, stupid, liar, idiot, damaged goods, corpse in an advanced state of decay, non-entity, unspeakable.